Hello, this is Roberto. This is Mauro. And we are here to present our new book, uh, Reactive Business Intelligence. Let us start from the definition of what we mean by reactive business intelligence. And we know that uh, uh, numbers are the fundamental language of nature. In fact, we are always dealing with numbers, and this, is go this goes back uh, to the age of Galileo, the founder of the modern science. He already knew that uh, uh, to understand nature, we need to deal with uh, numbers, with geometric figures, and without them, he says, one is wandering about in a dark labyrinth. So RBI, Reactive Business Intelligence, is about building and updating models which can be used. We are not just looking at numbers, at data, but we want to extract some insight from it. In this process, uh, starting from the data, we want to build useful models of what we are observing. Uh, by useful, I mean a model that can be understood by us. So a model should be a short description. In general, we can have a lot of data, but we want to uh, condense them in a very short description that can be understood by our brain, even <coughs> through the use of interactive visualization, which are fundamental for our model. Intelligence is related a lot to vision. So actually intelligence comes from the Latin intus legere, which means to read into. So you start from your data that you want to, to obtain insight. Again, something related to vision. To explain better what we mean by a simple model, uh, let me show you a counter, counter example. Um, in the play The Imaginary Invalid by Moliere, uh, we have uh, a tentative explanation of the reason why opium causes people to fall asleep. And they said, okay, it causes people to fall asleep because it contains a virtus dormitiva, a dormitive principle. Actually, you see, this does not explain anything. It's just expressing the same thing with different words. And this is exactly what we don't want to do with our data. Let's see a modern example of the same problem. A study conducted showed that organizations who have achieved the highest level of business excellence consistently outperformed their industry's average sales growth. What does it mean? It means that uh, organizations that are good at business are actually better than organizations that are not good at business. So this does not explain anything about what uh, organizations have done to be better at business. What do people usually do in business intelligence? Okay, they start from mining data. So we collect uh, large sets of data as we said before, we build models that are short descriptions of this data and then we show the results with beautiful graphs. Um, something that helps people understand what those data contain, the information those data contain. Um, what we propose in the reactive business intelligence is to close the loop. So, by getting feedback either by people or by software, we can refine our data mining process, refine our models, create better visualization. And this loop can go on and on. So we want the software to react, to be responsive, to respond uh, in order to adapt to people's needs. And vice versa, we want to allow people to learn about the capabilities when they solve a problem, when they build a model. Where do you start? Uh, of course, there are different ways to start. You know? So you may already have models, you may already have visualizations, you may already have data. So actually, this picture here can start in different, different points. Okay? Does it work? <laughs> Let's come to a real-life example. Say that you want to find a partner, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, uh, you may have uh, two objectives in the person you are looking for. 
you want an intelligent partner, you want a beautiful partner. Well, those two objectives cannot uh, usually be achieved uh, together. It's difficult to find them together in the same person. And uh, you could ask yourself, how do I value intelligence with respect to beauty? Uh, how much beauty would I um, sacrifice in order to have uh, one more IQ point? These are very difficult questions to solve. Uh, how do we usually solve them? Well, um, by examples. Maybe you get some examples of people and you say which one you like most. From this, you start understanding how you actually value these two characteristics of people. And uh, what you end up with is an iterative procedure by which, by refining and looking at examples, you finally find what you're looking for. So learning while you are solving a problem is crucial in order to find a solution which is uh, something that you want and it's not something like, you know, this guy or maybe this guy. Why do we value the visualization phase in business intelligence? Well, because humans are fundamentally visual creatures. Um, our ancestors needed a very good vision system in order to escape predators in order to find food and uh, so vision is actually the main channel that we have to transform an immense amount of uh, data think of all the uh, objects that we see in our vision field when we look at something into information into uh, uh, we are able to see patterns in things so it's very important to us to visualize data of course, we do not start from zero. If you want to cook a pizza, you start from the ingredients, not from your mozzarella cheese, from your tomatoes. And here we build upon existing tools and building blocks. Uh, one of, of them is, of course, data mining, which denotes the process of uh, extracting interesting patterns from your data. The second ingredient we need is business intelligence after collecting data, extracting information from it. Uh, we can use business intelligence uh, to um, improve our decision-making. So a uh, business intelligence system can also be called a decision support system. A third ingredient is called visual analytics. Um, this means using your visual system in order to help your reasoning, help your thinking about your data. We have seen the three basic ingredients to get insight on our problems. Data mining, models and visualization. Then we add our particular spice, which is feedback and learning. Um, all these building blocks are well analyzed in our book, Reactive Business Intelligence, and we will also develop some of the ideas contained in this in our upcoming videos.